The process of turning this raw milk into award-winning cheese is a long and time-consuming process. In fact, the cheese that Utterly Cool Creamery is producing today won't be ready to eat for months. However, it's an occupation the owners wouldn't have any other way. And that passion comes through in their product, which saw a significant increase in demand over a short period of time. It probably doubled in the first three or four years, um, and then it leveled out for the most part. Uh, we never really had the thought that we would want to become huge. Um, like I say, we feel very blessed to be able to just be where we are and do what we do and, and still have time to enjoy our families. And uh, so, yeah, we're about where we want to be. This year we're selling more than we can make, so we couldn't, we couldn't be better off with that. That's one of the reasons they're able to make such high quality cheese that their customers just can't seem to get enough of. With the product being made in smaller batches, every step of the process is carefully monitored. Everything is hands-on. There's, as you can see, there's no automation. There's no depending on a machine to do something that we're not looking at. We've got our hands in every, literally in every part of it every day. And so and it's just us. Another reason is the top quality milk they work with, which is provided by the student-run dairy business at Barry College. It's a natural partnership considering Jeff is an alum and worked at the very operation back in his college days. We thought that we were going to actually either have goats or a few cows, um, but because of his relationship with Barry and everything that he'd learned through the years with that dairy and working at other dairies in the region, um, we were offered the opportunity to use their milk with our cheese making process and that was really exciting because it included the students with the enterprise um, and uh, we've had a lot of fun with that. And having fun is what it's all about which is why this husband and wife duo are always looking to create new varieties despite the extra work it adds. It adds a little bit to it but it also keeps it from being mundane. So. You know, if you did the same, th exact same thing every day, then that would get, get kind of routine, and I think you'd lose, lose a little focus along the way with that. So, it is nice that we vary a little bit. It does get hectic, trying to balance what do we make today or what what are we going to need the most of in three months, because our our market constantly fluctuates. So, that that part's a challenge, but it does keep it a little bit interesting. It's very fulfilling, and it's a lot of fun, and. It's mostly fun uh, with the markets and, and, and the farmers markets and the CSAs. Uh, we have a distributor, um, wineries. Um, it's just been a fun, fun journey to get where we are. Reporting from Carroll County, I'm Damon Jones for the Farm Monitor.